Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another Versus Night. Tonight, I will be doing a comparison between Bullet from 1968 versus The French Connection from 1971. So, let's begin this one with the leads. Bullet stars Steve McQueen and Robert Vaughn. The French Connection stars Gene Hackman and Roy Scheider. So, on Bullet, um, Steve McQueen's character is, like a lot of his characters in his films, super cool, laid back, and just a awesome character. Robert Vaughn, um, I just don't think this guy other than the Magnificent Seven he never really got a really great role in feature films um, to me he was always best known for playing in The Man from Uncle and hell I'll even remember a few little guest appearances that he made on um, other TV shows more than I will a lot of his movie performances just because it just wasn't that impactful and memorable unfortunately um but steve is great and the scenes that they have together the antagonistic nature between the two of them working off of each other they're 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 good in there robert vaughn has always been good but like i said he just never really makes much of an impact, I don't think, in the films um, that he should have. Um, the French Connection, in comparison, though, um, Gene Hackman playing Popeye Doyle is incredible. Um, Gene Hackman is great as always. I mean, I, I can never say anything bad about him. I don't think I've ever seen this guy do a bad performance, don't, no matter what movie he's doing. Um, Roy Scheider is playing his partner in this, Cloudy, and God, the duo of these two, they work so well off of each other. Um, I think you know where I'm heading with this one. I'm going to give this one to The French Connection. All right, now let's go and look at supporting. So, supporting cast on Bullet consists of Don Gordon, Simon Oakland, Jacqueline Bissett, Robert Duvall, and Norman Fell. The supporting cast on the French Connection consists of Fernando Ray, Tony Lobianco, Marcel Buzoff, Frederic D. Pascal, and Anne Rebot. Also, both of these films had the co-star of Bill Hickman in there. So he's another one that, but he's in both films playing a role. He played a role in Bullet as uh, the hitman's uh, driver. Um, and then he played a little bit bigger role in The French Connection as uh, one of the detectives, the major one that gets killed near the end by Popeye Doyle. Not only that, but you also had the same producer working on both of these films, Philip D. Antoni. And uh, so, you know, that's pretty cool that there's two connections between these films with the one of the actors being featured in both films and uh, the uh, producer. Um, the supporting on Bullet, uh, Don Gordon is always a good actor. He's, he's one of those supporting actors that you recognize in a film, but you don't know his name. Um, really great character actor. Simon Oakland is always good. Um, I'll always remember him for his uh, role at the very end of Psycho. Um, 
very good character actor as well. Jacqueline Bissett, I mean, she is beautiful, talented, and uh, an amazing actress. Um, although, in this film, she is not given that much to do story-wise. Um, she's the girlfriend to Steve McQueen's character, and uh, she has a couple of little scenes with him, and nothing of note, really. Um, and then when he goes to a case to uh, investigate the murder scene of where uh, the killer has killed um, the girlfriend to the one that he was pretending to be, um, she ends up following him there um, and gets quite upset. So that's one little moment where she got to get a little bit of something in there. Um, Robert Duvall plays a small role here as a taxi driver, but he's in multiple scenes and, uh, makes quite an impression in his little screen time that he has in here. And finally you have, uh, Norman Fell, um, playing this dickish, um, police officer character, police sergeant or whatever he is. I mean, but he is just adamant about working with Robert Vaughn's character. He's he's all political, and he's not wanting to work with Steve McQueen at all on this. Um, but it's really funny getting to see the young Norman Fell before he was Stanley on Three's Company. Supporting cast on French Connection... Um, there's only one real big name in here, um, and that's not even a really big name, and that's Fernando Rey. I mean, he was a really good actor at the time, um, and before that, um, but nothing really superb. I mean, next to him, the only other, uh, face in here that you might recognize in anything would be, um, Tony Lobianca, um. But, uh, I think you can tell where I'm leaning with this one, too. Um, I think um, supporting is better in Bullet. So I'm going to give this one to Bullet. All right. Now let's move on to The Chase. Um, both these films are famous for one big chase. In Bullet... It is a car chase in which um, Steve McQueen's character is chasing um, after the hitman and his driver. And they are trying to shoot him and kill him while he's pursuing them through the, uh, the streets of uh, San Francisco. And it is one of the most famous car chases um, in history. The French Connection has a scene that is equally as famous, though, but it's not a regular car chase. Their epic chase is Popeye Doyle driving through the city like a madman in New York City trying to catch a train, a subway train, as it goes overhead. Um... So he's driving and looking up the whole time, trying to keep track. And while he's trying to keep track of the road as well, as he's going really, really fast. Um, both scenes are really, really intense and great. And the one in French Connection, from what um, William Friedkin said in interviews, they did not have permits to do a chase scene. They did a lot of that just flat out without telling anyone what they were doing. Um, so they could have gotten in a lot of trouble for that. Um, but I think out of these chases, um, the best one, of course, is going to be the chase in Bullet. Um, it is a car chase. I mean, and, and some of French Connection, I think it hurts 
because a lot of the audio where you're you should be hearing um Gene Hackman, you can't hear him. I mean, it's like he's muted. Um, you see him moving his mouth a lot throughout there, but the intense music playing uh, is, you know, at least in the copies I saw of the film, you can't hear his voice in there. Um, maybe it was just the copy I was seeing, but I don't know, whatever. But I think, yes, it's Bullet is the best chase out of these two films. All right, now let's see if we can get a clear-cut winner with the story and direction. So, Bullet was directed by Peter Yates, while The French Connection was directed by William Friedkin. Now, Peter Yates is a more subtle, slow-build kind of a director. Um, his film has you know, intense moments, but they're sprinkled be between more subtle moments. As I said before, the relationship with Steve McQueen and his girlfriend, played by Jacqueline Bissett. Um, the moments of antagonistic confrontation between Steve McQueen and Robert Vaughn um, you know, they're, they're, they're well shot, but they're slower and more methodical sequences in here. Other than the car chase at the um, midpoint of this film where he chases after the hitman and his driver. And, of course, when he catches up to the killer and chases him through the uh, on foot through the uh, airport, um, which... I may be wrong, but I think that scene, I think Michael Mann was inspired by Bullet's airport scene to do his finale for Heat. Let me know what you guys think, if you think I'm right in that. Um, but I, th I mean, I think it's pretty apparent. I mean, it, it looks pretty identical in a lot of spots to Heat's big chase at the end. Um, whereas William Friedkin is much more kinetic, um, much more, um, the sequences are more intense and exciting um, in the film. It's no action film by any stretch of the imagination, but it is directed in a much more intense way probably thanks to William Friedkin's direction and a little bit of the performances by Gene Hackman and Roy Scheider, of course. Um, so this one, mm, I'm going to give to The French Connection. So we come to a tie. This is a two to two tie on this one. And between two classics like this, this was bound to happen in one of my um, versus nights at one time or another, wasn't it? So, uh, no clear cut winner. They are both awesome films um, in their own ways. Um, so what do you think of Bullet and the French Connection? Do you agree with my testament to this, that they are equally as great? Or do you disagree and think one of them is better than the other? Let me know in those comments down below. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you can be notified about future videos just like this one. And while you're by the subscribe button, click that join button and become a Dark Knight fan. Well, that's the end of another Versus Night. If you missed last week's Versus Night, check out the link up in here. Or if you've missed any of the other Versus Nights, check out our playlist and see anything that you have missed.